Updating properties. Sprites have properties that let the computer know where and how to draw them. Two common properties to use are sprite.x and sprite.y, which control the location of the sprite. Assigning these properties a new value will move your sprite to a new location. Don't let the word property scare you, all right? So property is just that object. So if we create something, a variable or a object named sprite, sprite.x is gonna control the movement of it, right? So the dot just means, uh, well, it specifies that the x variable belongs to sprite. But again, don't let these dot things confuse you. It makes it so we can store a lot of stuff within one character. So within one sprite, sprite.x, sprite.y. Anyways, all right, do this. This animation is updating one sprite's x property to make it look like it's shaking. Eh, it is. Run the program to see how it works, okay? Ooh. Yep. All right. It, uh, it shakes. That's how it works. Edit the code in this program to make the second sprite shake like the first one. Oh, okay. Move on when your program looks like the picture. Okay. Well, let's see how we can do that. So, what is this thing? I mean, obviously, it's a pencil. Uh, variable, oh good, they named their variable pencil, pencil, okay, and then they use dot, yep, pencil, yep, brush, okay. Now they're using this draw loop, right, so it's going to make it be drawn at once, and then again, and then again, and then again, which makes the appearance of movement, because nothing's technically moving, it's just showing us images super fast that it is drawing. White background, pencil x, random. Oh, and that's why it's moving slightly, I bet. So, they created this variable, well, this property, they assigned property x to be random 300, or random number between 110 and, uh, between 100 and 110. So, every time it's drawing our pencil here, it's assigning a new random number, and it's a number between 110, 100, and 110, so it's moving it around a bit. So, I bet, watch this, I'm going to be lazy, just move it down. This is probably going to give us an error because pencil doesn't have a property. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to throw in 55 because I just want to show you. Well, now the brush is shaking where the pencil used to be. Okay, so that is what we're going to want to do. Let's see, we need random number, which I believe is in math. And if it was at 300 before, I'm going to leave it at that. And then just say 300, and let's try, I don't know, 310. Let's see what's happening. Run. Ta-da! Okay. And we can even go wild with this, right? So just keep it under 400, because otherwise it would be off the screen. And I'm going to set this to zero. Reset. Now, this isn't following the direction, because it wants it like their picture, but you know. And that's how we're going to make things run. All right, I'm going to hit Control z just to undo what I just did, hit Reset, hit Run again, and great, let's keep going.